about how to create custom audiences. I'm going to let you know a little bit about what custom audiences are, and we're going to see how you can actually create them and where to use them. So firstly, a custom audience is a specific type of audience for a specific um, reason. Just the word custom, it means you're making, you know, you're making a customization. So there are three types of custom audiences. There's your cold audience, there's your warm audience, and there's your lookalike audience. So let's go back a little bit to what custom audience is. Um, so your custom audience is basically any type of or of a, of a specific audience um, which you have identified as you know have been on it on a certain journey level on a certain level with your product or on a certain uh, market level of your products. So um, if I decide to say, okay, hey, I am selling cakes and I want to target women in Lagos who have a birthday coming up in Soso Day. Uh, in several months, or uh, let's say in January, and um, I want women who are married, right? Women who are married. That's a custom audience, right? In its own way. Now, that is a custom audience that could be a cold audience, it could be a warm audience, or it could be a lookalike audience. But generally, it is a custom audience because I'm targeting a specific type of person. So um, let's look at the different um, types of custom audiences. The cold audience is, the cold custom audience is basically people who don't know you. Right. These are people um, that have never interacted with your ads. They've never interacted with your business. They know nothing about you. They are completely cold audiences. Right. They've never bought anything from you. They don't even know your business exists. Um, these guys, these are cold audiences. And um, any type when you're running targeting, basically, the first type of people you target are cold audiences. So um, going back to that targeting, I said, you know, women who want to buy cake, who have their birthday coming up in January, who are married. Um, the moment I start running ads to them, I'm targeting a cold audience. These people have never known me before. They've never seen my ads before. Right. So those are cold audiences. Now we have warm audiences. So a warm audience is basically people who have at least interacted with your brand before. They could have interacted with your ad. They could have seen a post from you. Basically, they know you exist and they know you sell cakes, right? They know you sell whatever it is you sell. So these are warm audiences and they could be of different market levels. So could, they could just be people who um, like your Facebook page, right? They know you sell cakes. They like your Facebook page because you post awesome content there. So they could be just people like that who know you, you know, they are a warm audience of people who know you sell cakes, they like your Facebook, um, they like your Facebook page. Then you could also have um, maybe another level where, okay, these are people who have probably visited your cake uh, website before, your cake online store before, and they've not bought anything, but they've visited, they've checked you out. That is another type of warm audience. They know you exist. Then of course you have those who have probably bought from you before, and um, they are also another set of warm audience because they also know you exist and they've even bought from you. And they are way, way warmer than you know audience who just like your page or audience who have just visited your page, right? And then let us say you also have another audience of people who have not just bought from you, but they've subscribed to your email list. They are way hotter than um, audiences that have not even bought anything from or who have bought from you, right? So these are different levels of warm audiences. Now we have what is known as lookalike audience. Now a lookalike audience is typically a custom audience of people who look like a certain type of um, custom audience. For example, uh, let, let me say I have 300 people on a list who have bought cakes from me before. I can now go to Facebook and say, hey, Facebook, I want you to, I'm going to give you these 300 uh, um, uh, contact details of people who have bought stuff from me before. And I want you to find people who look like these people very well, who look like these people, right? Find them for me and target them. Why am I doing this? Because people who, pe people who like certain things or who look like others who like certain things are likely more or are more likely to buy the same thing so let us say we had my 300 people right and um these 300 people they are very like they are the ones who had bought i can just copy their example in facebook that you should find for me people who who have the same similarities who have the same um likes who have the same um what else what else can we put now who have the same interest like the 300 people and they are more more likely to convert so using lookalike audiences 
very very powerful way to sell your products and for in, when it comes to facebook you, i think you need a minimum of if i of, of a hundred um people who have bought to create a lookalike audience of purchases right so there are different ways to create a lookalike audience and we're going to look at them um there are several ways to do that right you can create a lookalike audience of people who have visited your page before you can create a lookalike audience of people who have visited your website you can create a lookalike audience of people who have bought from you you can create a lookalike audience of people who have joined your email list it depends on you you can create a lookalike audience of people who like your instagram page right so um the 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 amount of lookalike audience you can create is awesome. It's it's, it's a lot, right? So um, the next thing we want to look at is when do you use this type of um, custom audiences? So there are two ways um, you could actually be using custom audiences. The first is, um, sorry, let me edit this because we have a small mistake here. So the first is that you can use it for retargeting. Like I explained, um, uh, earlier retargeting is okay like i'm going to explain in the next video i will just say that a little bit here retargeting is when you're getting somebody who knows about you to come back and maybe make a purchase or take some action right it doesn't really matter what it is as long as that person has already seen your advert the person knows a little bit about you and then you thought you push them you follow them up with more adverts to get them to come back and take that action whatever action it could be it could be um signing up for your email list it could be buying a product it could be becoming a lead it could be booking a call whatever it is they've seen it before but they didn't take action maybe they got distracted maybe something happened and they left then you retarget them still with ads and you get them to come back and take action so that's what retargeting is. so that's one place where you use custom audiences for example i could use a custom audience of people who have visited my website before and i will retarget them to with new ads to come back and check out um, a new product i have or check out the previous product which they didn't buy right i could retarget people who um who uh, who like my page right who like my facebook or instagram page i could retarget them to come and check out whatever it is i am um i am actually selling right the next place where you use custom audiences is for exclusions so let's say i have people who have bought a particular product right and i am now trying to sell i don't want facebook to show my ad to the same people who have already bought this product i can simply create a custom list of these people and exclude them I can create a custom list of these people and exclude them. So Facebook does not show my ad to them again. Imagine somebody just bought your product last week and Facebook is spending your money showing your ad to them, right? It doesn't, it's not wise. You're wasting a lot of money that could have been shown to new people. So you want to exclude this particular people. So these are two places where you use um retarget, uh, where you use custom audiences. So let's dive into our Facebook uh, 